Hello, hello today. I'm going to show you how to spray the paint. First step, we have to get the paint can in a um, ready position. For this, remove the head and then extract the lock. Now it's time to bring up the, two, uh, the room temperature. The can must not be too cold. 20 degrees Celsius is ideal. Shake it, baby. Shake the can vigorously for about two minutes until the mixer ball can be clearly heard in the can. This is very important to ensure that the colored pigments is well stirred and mixed in. This is the only way to obtain the right paint color. If possible, spray outdoor or in well ventilated rooms. Set a washable garage. Indoors, you must cover the surrounding area well to protect it from the fine misting of the spray paint. Mask any areas not to be painted. Good illumination is also important to let you see whatever you have painted over the whole area. And as you can see, there is a spraying action. Never spray straight away and onto the object to be painted. Spray first onto a test piece. For example, a newspaper or masking matter. Be sure to spray from the correct distance. This is 25 until 30 centimeters. Different objects call for different spray techniques. Start spraying close to the object, but not directly onto it. Press the actuator button down fully. Move the can slowly and evenly back and forth. Changing direction only after the spray have moved past it, the object. This makes it easier to control the amount of paint falling onto the object and lets you ensure that too much paint does not build up form runs or teardrops. Yeah, the first gear is ready. Now it has to cool down a little bit. Don't try to get a perfectly smooth surface at the first pass. The first path should be regarded as a preparator code on which you will build a smooth even finish with a second and perhaps a third passes. Spraying before the previous coat is fully dry, but with one until two, maybe five minutes between each pass. We are now in pass number two, as you can see. Further coats can then only be applied after 24 hours, otherwise there is a risk of lifting. And here you can see that the spray technique is easy. You go um, from edge to edge and make a clear and smooth surface with your spraying paint inside. At the center there's an um, important way to spray a little bit more because there are comes the nuts and the edges too. Stay tuned and only spray in one easy direction and do this in a balanced way. Spray like a champion, as you can see. The surface has to be a flat ocean-like um, surface with nice and easy paint. And this looks awesome, as you can see. This is the basic power lamp um, paint in your color as your shoes. First, you have the preparation, of course. You have planned the surface first, then you have prime, um, give a layer of prime on it, and then it's time to spray the paint. And after the paint work, you can spray um, clear coat after, I think, 30 minutes. That is, that is a wet in wet action. Then you do not have to sand another round. But here you can see the second round is nearly ready. We are have a controlling um, look now and go in the inside of the rim and make a little bit more paint on top. And here you can see the flat surface. It's like the ocean. Really nice, per, um, nice um, 
paint is there and this is enough. Now it has to, to relax a little bit and then the next um, act is clear coat or nothing as you like. But then you have to dry out it for 24 hours. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback and see you next time again. And of course, after this spray job, you can make you can um, for using next time ready. Only rotate it top side down and then spray 10, 5 until 7 seconds and then you can use the can at the next time again. So that it is. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback and see you next time again. Soon, soon. Nice and easy job. Oh, it's beautiful color. Good. Soon, soon.